I just wanted to talk a little bit about alternate day fasting. For those of you that don't know, it's where you don't eat for a day, approximately 36 hours, and then you do eat. And then on feast day, what you want to try to make sure is that you don't try to overeat to make up for the calories you lost the day before. The whole point is to have a calorie deficit. So don't go and just binge and gorge yourself just because, you know, oh my God, I'm supposed to have 2,000 calories a day. No, you're not going to die if you don't eat for a day. That's the whole point of doing this so your body can take it and eat off of the fat that you already have. With that being said, you know, I've been doing this challenge with um, Colleen Marie and her Facebook group. You know, the challenge was initially only for May, but I figured it'd just keep going in June since I had such amazing results. And I got to get healthy. It feels good to be healthy. There are so many things in the world that I have yet to do and try. So this is what's working for me. So I'm just going to keep on trying. <laughs> For those of you that think that um, you can't afford to go work out, walking is free. Just walk around the neighborhood, walk around your house. And if you have a job and health insurance, most of the time health insurance will pay for you to have a gym membership instead of paying for all of the expensive things that being overweight can entail. So, you know, just look into that because I have United Healthcare and they give me a $150 gym membership reimbursement. So, hey, why not? Pay me to go to the gym. That's how I'm thinking about it. So, you know, that's pretty much all I have to say on that. You know, I had a lot of things that I wanted to say. I probably should have wrote it down. Then that way I can make sure I go over each point. But, you know, just walk. Walking is good. Free exercise. You don't have to take it and be a bodybuilder unless that's what your goal is. And for me, just trying to get this weight off of me because being close to 200 pounds is no fun. And now that I'm down to like 177, it feels darn good. And I want to keep on going until I'm like maybe 150. Mm, 160 is pretty good for now, but you know, if I can make it to 150, we'll see how I feel and how I look. And the one video clip I'm going to show after this is was where I was at a different gym. You know, I was enjoying it. It was a nice size gym and everything. And then I went there one day at the end of the last month and it said they were getting ready to close and to find a new location. Those of you that know me know I don't like change too much, and that was a very sudden change, but you know, change is good. So now I'm at this new gym. It's a little bit smaller, and the locker room is extremely cold, but you know, I don't have to live in there, so that's no big deal. Um, Yeah, so this new gym that I'm headed to now is still close to home and on the way home from work, so I don't have to go and drive all around town because driving just to get a workout in is wasting time, and I'm not trying to waste my time. So... You'll also see some other clips of different workout shirts that I like to wear now because when you sweat and you work out, these shirts will show you a hidden message. I think they're pretty cool. It shows me that I'm really doing something and it's worth its while. One of the shirts in particular, my husband had asked me, why would you wear that in public? I will let you all try to guess and see which one that is, but you know, a shirt's a shirt, whatever. I got the workout in, I sweated hard, and now I can go home. So until then, you know, I'll try to keep you all up to date and show you the progress that I made at the end of each month and how much weight I'm losing and how well it's going for me. I'm already off of one of the blood pressure pills I was on, which is extremely good news to me because that's saving a little money and who doesn't like to save money and I'm getting healthy. So if you have any questions and want to ask me anything about what I'm doing and how the weight loss is coming along, feel free to drop it down in the comments. But in the meantime, enjoy some motivational clips and these cute little shirts that I like to wear. If you want one, you can go online and find it at www.omegaburn.com. No, they're not paying me to say this, but you know the shirts are pretty cool. The women's shirts, however, they're only tank tops. But you know, you can wear a men's shirt who said that you can't. And, you know, the tank tops aren't half bad either. You might get hot and you might want to have a tank top on. So check out these shirts. They're really, really cute. And they let you know, hey, you worked for it. Until next time, bye. Okay, so it's a Monday and I'm off. I decided to go to the gym a little bit earlier than normal. And the parking lot is full. Days like today, I get really intense and I don't really want to be at the gym, but you know what? Who cares? Big hair, don't care. I got to get in there. Hopefully, everyone that's here is in the spin class or one of those other aerobic classes because I just want the treadmill, really. I get so intimidated when the parking lot's this full. I don't like being around a lot of people, but I'm on a mission. See you on the outside.